Kijk, maar op het slecht. Wat is je naam? Moes? Like a Moises? From South America? Yeah. Okay, Moise, right here. And your name? Courtney. What's your favorite type of animals? Anything you don't like? I'm gonna just tell me, I'm asking, I wanna know. For insurance purposes. Again, San Diego. What's your name? What was there anything you don't like? Oh yeah. How about you? Is there anything you don't like? Yeah? You guys like snakes? Not yeah? Okay. Alright, so, so okay, so we're gonna slide down here. What's your name? Ariel. My daughter loved Ariel. And we have Moise. And your name? Courtney. Alright, you stay right here, Courtney. And you look straight ahead. Do not look behind you. You guys come with me. <laughs> Courtney, right? Yeah. Look straight ahead. is an awesome species of snake. This is a Burmese python. Now, if you were in the jungles of Southeast Asia, you would see an animal with them. Marbles, dark browns and olives and grays. Very beautiful colored snake. This one possesses none of those colors because he's an albino. He was born without those pigments. In the wilds of Southeast Asia, he would not survive. He would be an easy target. Be, he's like a lure for any hungry animals, and it would be unlikely that it could grow this big. It would also be hard for it to creep onto prey because, because it would just be so visible. Now, this is an animal that was someone's pet, and, that, and it got confiscated, and, 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 and it's now in this program. It's a good example of why they don't make good pets. But when you, okay, now Courtney, now you come out here, you, you, Ariel, you fill in the gap. You got it. She's got it. She's all over. All right. Come here, Courtney. Now, they are, what kind of type of animals are they? What kind of vertebrates are, 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 are snakes? They belong to the group we call the... No, they're not invertebrates. They definitely have a backbone and bone. You have birds, mammals, amphibians, reptiles, exactly. Lizards and crocodilians like alligators and turtles belong to the reptile group. They are buchylothermic, they're cold-blooded, they don't generate their own body temperature. They have scales, um, they lay eggs, sometimes they actually have their eggs develop inside them, but not like a human being, not like a mammal. Um, but snakes are different because when you look at snakes, what makes them different from other reptiles? What do they not have that you would expect to see? They do not have any limbs. That's what a lot of people think. Moise, if you could slide yourself down this end, right near the camera, and Moise, yeah, so you go this way, and Moise, come here. I'm going to show you something. I know, that's perfect. I'm going to show you something really neat. Watch this. So snakes don't have any. Well, focus right here. Look at that. Can you focus right now? That is a claw or a clasper, which is really, really neat. You, can, can you see that, guys? Yeah? Okay, we'll put them right back in the original position. Don't walk the stage. What's really amazing is that when you look at that claw, what you're seeing is something that doesn't have a whole lot of use today for snakes. Although, they have maybe a reproductive use during copulation to secure